Hello everyone and welcome to What If Tutorials, the show where we use examples from Sam by What If Studios. It's a free indie game that you can download, the link's in the description. We would appreciate any comments so that we can improve the game in the future. Today I'm going to show you how to invert the mouse with a mouse orbit script contained in the standard asset folder of Unity. So let's get started. What if tutorials? So in a game you usually have a type of a function uh, in your controls menu like this. You have in your controls an invert button that when you click it then it will be inverted. So I'm going to show you how to do that now. In your mouse orbit which is attached to your main camera in a third person game. Um, don't worry about how complicated it is. It's just it's it's my script that I've uh, went on with it but um, yes this is the standard asset script from unity if you've added that component then you can go into your script and I want you to go to this line over here rotation equals quaternion dot Euler I'm sorry I'm, I'm not English I don't know how to pronounce that so um, I'm not well English is not my own language but what I'm going to do to invert this is I'm going to add a minus right over there in front of the Y. Now technically it should be inverted. So when I play the game now, when it's loading, that's the bad thing about JavaScript. It loads forever. That's why I prefer C sharp. But in anyway, so now you can see that it is technically inverted, but the limits are not right because it's supposed to look from the top so you can go over here onto your y min limit and y max limit and to invert those values you can just switch them around and multiply it by minus one so i'm gonna i'm gonna say minus 80 and i'm gonna say zero when you mul multiply it by minus one and now you have a perfectly inverted view of of the game so at least now without touching the programming really you know how to how to do that so I'm gonna show you how to do it with the programming now by first adding a public variable public um, invert view is false okay but it should be five so this is gonna say if it's inverted or not and over here I'm just gonna say rotation equals that and then if it is inverted at that stage then this programming would um, execute but if it's not inverted then this is gonna happen like it would normally execute so this is not the only thing that you have to add um, if you scroll upward over here you see a function which is called clamp angle and this is the only place that these two variables the y min limit and the y max limit are used so i'm going to add an if statement over here if it's not inverted then this should happen else I'm going to copy this because I'm lazy, because I'm a programmer. And I'm going to switch these values around. So I switch that with that one. And now it's just switched, but now I have to multiply it by minus 1, each of these values. So technically this is supposed to work because you invert it with minus y as well as you clamp the angle in the correct way so if I play the game now then you will see that okay now it's not inverted yet if I invert it with this um, boolean over here then it is inverted uh, well you can't see my um, you can't see my hand now but just trust me it is inverted at this moment so Yes, this is pretty much how you invert the, um, the mouse. Thank you for watching and please try to remember to, if you've got some time, you should play this game, it's really fun. 
We're currently competing in the Microsoft Imagine Cup and any help from you would really be helpful. <laughs> so thank you for watching and have a nice day. What if tutorials